Hey, what's up guys? This is Tomer, the co-founder of the Digital Reach platform. And today we're going to go over Linktree. Okay, so Linktree describes itself as the only link you'll ever need, right? So you can, it says connect audiences to all of your content with just one link. And, and you know, it's a, it's a free account you can have. They have some, a pro account that you pay. I think it was a six or seven bucks. So what is Linktree? As it's currently described, right? Uh, it's almost like a, a hub, right? With to store all of your links. So you, so you put, you know, you can use this for Instagram, right? So you say link in bio, right? And then you'll have a certain, a, a separate page and you can have, you know, one link to your website, one link to a blog post, one link to, you know, part of the call to action, one link to the contact us page. You can do all that via link tree. Right. So to set up the link tree, and this is great, by the way, for Instagram specifically. I mean, you can use it for other accounts, but Instagram, it's great, especially if you want to, you know, uh, uh, have host, you know, multiple links or maybe a multiple call to actions. And it's a pain to always change out the links. So you can see right here. Right. So here's the link tree website. And then when you could get started, right, it'll take you to a page that you'll have to log in with uh, Instagram or you can log in through an email, then you have to put in a password. But from there, it gets you to this page right here, right? So here's the link tree. But first, this is, I wanna show you quickly what it looks like. So when you click this link right here, right? So this is a digital reach platform, uh, Instagram page. I'm currently on my desktop. And when you click here, right, it'll take you to this page right here. So if you're on your mobile device, it'll do the same exact thing, right? So it'll, it'll load exactly like this. So you can see here, right? So it has my, um, cover photo or uh, my, sorry, my profile picture. It has, you know, at digital reach platform, blog posts, case studies, contact us, website. I was able to add all this for free. Like it's, it's, it's phenomenal. So what do you do, right? Linktree admin. And you can see right here, right? So in my blog post, you put the URL, the case study, in my case, I put down, which is my work page, a contact us page and website. So what I actually ended up doing for two of them because I was interested to see where the, some of the traffic was coming from, right? If this was going to come from uh, Linktree. I actually used Bitly, and we'll go over what Bitly is maybe in another tutorial or another video, how-to video. But today, you know, this video is just on uh, Linktree, right? So right here, you can see it gives you basic analytics. Obviously, when you pay for the pro account, it gives you a little bit more. But it gives you, you know, how many views, lifetime analytics, 13 views right there. Uh, you know, you can change the appearance if you like which would take you to the following page. So you can change the color of the, you know, how it look. You can change it to green. These are all free. When you, if you want to customize it, right, you can, um, you know, you'll have to pay for the pro version. Here's, here's one that I like white. Here's a blue one. Here's the one. Here's another interesting color. This is the one I currently use right here. I, I like the color a lot, this color, and the next one kind of looks like, you know, Instagram related, but you can, you can play around with it and uh, see what you like to use, right? And then you can also go to your settings pro, but like I said, in this case, it's not super important for me. Uh, and you have your, my link tree. So this is going to be in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to go back to links. Yeah. So it took me back to links right here, right? So just, just another heads up, you know, you have, um, uh, this is a you know this is a pro version right here you know the analytics the link has been clicked two times right so what you would do uh, is click add new link right so this is how you start creating the new link well I can call this um, we'll call this uh, YouTube example YouTube example uh, then right below it here we go, right click that. We're right below, I'll just put the website, right? So I'll do www.digitalreach, sorry, digitalreachplatform.com. Click on the side over there and blah, look at that. Or click on the side right here and there you go. Like you see that right here, right here. So YouTube example, this is exactly how it would look on your mobile device. Uh, so YouTube example, blog post, case study, contact us, website. Now you can always adjust this, right? By moving the, shifting this down here and you'll see over here how it change. Um, you can even turn it off, right? If you want to pause it or, you know, maybe you want to just remove the URL or the um, link as of right now and you want to use it later on, a simple thing you can do is just quickly turn it off. You can delete it. I'll probably delete it after this video. Uh, and, it, and it's super easy, right? So you can easily just add a new link without an issue at all. Uh, 
here's another one right here. So with Linktree, you can schedule when your links go live, which is very cool. Uh, but and yeah, so that's basically it. And like I mentioned here, all you would do here is click copy and you go to your digital reach platform uh, bio, click edit profile, and you just copy and paste in the website link or website um, area, right, of your uh, profile. And that's it, right? That's all you, that's what Linktree is all about. Uh, that it's what, you know, that's how to access it and how to, you know, um, maneuver it. Uh, it's pretty simple. Everything else from there is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you know, you can be creative with it, right? You can play around with it. But yeah, that's basically it. That is Linktree. I highly recommend using it uh, for your, you know, specifically Instagram profile, but may maybe even Twitter, right? You want to put it in your Twitter bio. Uh, you can use it for basically anything you'd like to use it for. And that's it. So, you know, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we're going to be doing more of these. Uh, until next time, you know, I'm signing off.